38 minutes past the hour right now. Tea Party favorite Congressman Michelle Bachman, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, she's been very critical of the Obama administration, voted no on a bill that passed last week to avoid a government shutdown. And she's called the administration a gangster government, also accusing the administration of tucking more than $100 billion in spending in the health care bill. Congressman Michelle Bachman, Congresswoman, I'm having trouble with that. Uh, question about defunding President Obama's mm -hmm. health care. You say that anything um, in terms of agreeing to a budget has to come with that basic tenant that, that is going to defund health care at the cost of a government shutdown? Well, I think what happened in the bill, no one knew because it was it was all broken up and scattered here and there. The initial House bill did pass in early November, as you said, but the final version didn't pass both chambers until mid-March. So technically there were three months to go over the finer points of the bill. Are you saying that, that it was not feasible to be able to discover this, uh, your, your number, $105 billion in appropriations until 2019, in those three months? Well, remember, on the Senate side, they voted. Between we, that. We, right. You're we, saying there was we, not we time We were looking that. at the House version at that time. And then at the last minute. Well, because let's, you're, you're claiming the $105 billion and, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have the That's paperwork according there. to the Congressional Research Service. Right. We've and got a grid that is $105 billion. At face value. So we're talking about this $105 billion, But the Congressional Budget Office, when they analyze the whole bill, they say that including these appropriations, it still reduces the deficit by $130 billion between 2012 and 2019. And they say repealing the bill, and this is, again, according to the Congressional Budget Office, you end up increasing the deficit by $145 billion during during this same period. So what are you getting at by fighting over the bill if in the end repealing it is going to add more to the deficit? They actually it said that it's going to cost more money to implement Obamacare. So there might be two different reports that are... President, you said that he's running a gangster government. What did you mean by that? Well, for instance, crony capitalism. So that if you have a political connection... Anything right? Uh, I know that you've been a critic of President Obama. What about his uh, decision to basically uh, reinforce the Bush uh, era uh, thoughts on Guantanamo, meaning that, that military tribunals are going to continue. I agree with that. I think the president is making the rights of uh, time's ticking, let's put it that way, about we're under a year now until the Iowa caucuses mm -hmm. and the New Hampshire primary. Are you going to run for president in fall? I mean, is there a time frame? I think there's a natural time frame, and I think probably Thank you. this morning, Congressman Thank Michelle you. Bachman. Always a pleasure. Thanks Mine for coming too. in. Thank you. TJ? All right, Karen. Well, we're talking this morning to Aaron Brockovich, a true case of Art Imitating Life, environmental activist Aaron Brockovich is now out with a new novel called Rock Bottom, an autobiography back in 2001. Why did you decide to go with a novel that did mirror some of the things that you have experienced in your life as an environmental crusader? Well, because, you know, I spent a lot of time with a new group of people. I mean, you know, for people who are passionate about the environment, they do have to sift through a lot, right? They read oh. a lot about the latest, mm. uh, you know, studies and, and, and issues. In this, you wanted to just sort of inspire perhaps a group of people that maybe wouldn't be um, interested otherwise. Well, people that are not interested otherwise. Broad brush view of... of what we've done or what we haven't done in terms of protecting the environment worldwide are we in a worse situation or have things improved i do not think things chromium um the landmark settlement with pg e of right. course the uh, the inspiration behind the oscar-winning movie about your life um this is what's interesting that they had a study out this was released in december and it was actually shocking mm -hmm. it was by the environmental working group they found this hexavalent chromium in 31 of 35 u.s cities that they studied they tested right. the water supply there you were in dc recently talking about this are our lawmakers taking this seriously enough? Who <sighs> takes this seriously? Well, I think we need to be taking it seriously, and that's why I'm hoping I, the documentary, I have seen um, Gasland. The clip, of course, that really was seared in a lot of people's minds, mm -hmm. and again, this is a... People have been saying, we need to do more of this. We need to get more natural gas. Mm -hmm. We need to move toward energy independence. And when you talk about gas mm -hmm. creeping up to $4 a gallon, do people care less about the environment and more about their pocketbooks? Um, well, I think <clears throat> Rockovich, author of your we'll new have to novel, keep fighting for that. Right, you're fighting. You're fighting every day. Rock bottom. Great to meet you hey, this morning, nice Aaron. Thanks, you. So, thanks much. so much. We're gonna take a quick break. Forty-five minutes past the hour.